So, I know what you guys want for the holidays. CDs, t-shirts, records, vinyl players, and some action figures for some reason because you have a collection of them. Anyway. They're cool. Yeah, we'll go with that. Why not go to Sunrise Records or any fine CD record? The only section that matters in your local music store, the metal section. Yeah, you can find some, you know, every single Black Sabbath album. You can find some OG Blind Guardian here. Anthrax, State of Euphoria. I just might get that for myself for Kwanzaa. Of course they have Dream Theater. Every Iron Maiden album you could possibly imagine. If you're really into nature and are conscientious about the environment, and taking a long ass time to release shitty albums, this might be for you. Where's the trash, dude? I think we're done Christmas shopping for me. And once you're done getting rain and blood, you can just buy all the Slayer, all the Pantera, and Warheads on foreheads. Okay, so now next step is you're just going to want to get all the thrash stuff here. Hey, what the hell, man? Come on. Well, which one? Like, literally this whole shelf right here. Okay, well, I already own this album. Is it best stocking stuffer Christmas gift? You can never not have too many Exodus CDs, I think. Were you not around during the 80s when all the best printed shirts were still out? Look no further, you have an entire wall of vintage prints that you can argue that you probably got off eBay for like $100. I'm not even that mad about that Megadeth t-shirt, it's actually pretty cool. You can get your, you know, normie metalhead friend in this Slipknot t-shirt. Next thing you're going to want to get for your buddy, you can't have any other color jeans than black. As such, I haven't taken these bad boys off in 80, 90 years probably, so once you're out of black paint to paint over your legs, and for the death metal or knife enthusiasts in your family, why not get some camel pants? Let everyone know you like to hide in the bushes when you're drinking your beer. So one of the first things you need to get for your boy or girl is a new vest. Because if you don't have a vest, then you're wearing sleeves and that's an issue in of itself, so. What's that? Is that? This isn't denim. What kind of fucking life preserver is this thing? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We finally found some denim vests now. Not all of these come with sleeves pre-ripped off, thanks to yours truly, or a friend with a machete. So what you're going to want to do, this is good quality denim. If you want to go with good denim, go with Levi's. Look, there's two donkeys on it. Donkeys are hardworking. You want your denim hardworking, don't you? So get one of these bad boys, buy this, save some money. Dude, what the hell? They picked a long spot to cut the denim. What? So next thing you want to do for Christmas shopping is you need to get a badass sweater like this. Like, okay, let me just like pull this out for you. This is literally the greatest Christmas sweater. Where did you get that fine sweater? Hot topic. All right, let's get one thing serious here. You're going to shop here. You can't let anyone know. Burn the receipt. Eat the receipt. Blend the receipt. Shred the receipt. I don't care. And if anyone figures out that one of your t-shirts might have come from the store, say you got off some guy in Indonesia, his store's been broken into, it's sold out, it's been killed by Varg, that's the end of it. Don't let anyone know you shopped here. Okay, so this guy's got the right idea. He's got the leather jacket on with no sleeves, and then the badass pins coupled with Zach Sabbath. Dude, okay, so where did you get these pins from? Shows. So, okay, so what would you recommend for holiday season shopping? Concert tickets, maybe? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah? Exciter's playing uh, New Year's Eve. They are. I might just be at that show. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Bye. High five. Take care. All right, now I've done the work for you guys. I've outlined some of the books you can and cannot buy for your metal head friends this holiday season. Okay, Satan's on the front cover, and there's naked ladies on it, and corpse paint, and a BC Rich right in the corner over there. This is a must-have this Halloween season. I could go to Metal Injection to figure out what he has to say. If there's anything rock and roll on the face of this planet, it's choking on your own vomit. That's why you need to buy a new mod stock. No sleeves, no t-shirt, no problem. For the lucky lady in your life, why not some Sebastian Bach? And for all you guys wondering at home about all those complex riffs that you hear about zeros in Slayer songs, here's step one. Next up, once you've kicked out your guitarist out of your band, maybe get him a little parting gift, something to help him feel a bit more comfortable with his life. And finally, for that film nerd in your life who's got a real obsession with violence, and that's kind of why you're friends with him. I mean, why not, right? Happy Hanukkah, buddy. Thanks, man. Okay, so you're a black metal band. You have no money. Well, guess what? This weekend, 10% off all cosmetics and fragorans. 
I don't know what a Fragorand is. I think it's something you put on stage. All your Corpse Gate Essentials right here. You want to get that. That doesn't come out. Dude! Holy crap! Iron Maiden shot glasses. If this doesn't say you're into vintage heavy metal and enjoy chugging liquor at an unreasonable volume, and you got, and you got horror themed mugs up here, you want to have some some heads of your enemies. See, you got young Dave Mustaine over here. You've got Ghost over here. Dude, that's Eddie Van Halen. That is. And then look, you got a Slipknot one right here. They have everything. Wow. I mean, what a time to be alive, right? High tops. So, you know, something like this is a pretty good stocking stuffer. Or, you know, really old packages from 2008 releases. Seriously, you need to get some movies for your metalhead homie. So, the man that's literally made of metal, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, what's wrong with that? Incarnate, like, I don't know, it sounds metal. Probably the most metal movie of all time. They even got Wasp on the back and everything. Aliens, I love aliens. Dude, they're the fucking best. For the Sabaton enthusiasts in your family, and arguably probably the most metal movie. All the fake metal heads, Layla's, and black metal fans in your family. I'm metal 666 of the irons. And then you have some actually cool stuff like early Metallica albums. That one's got a ballad on it, I'm pretty sure. So does this one, but hey, I like the album cover better. This one's just fucking awesome. Wait, are we going to get demonetized for filming this mug? Uh, heavy, heavy freaking metal. There we go. Heavy truck and metal. Oh, Santa, my dude, I'm your biggest oh, fan, buddy. All right, all right. Do you think you could get Slayer to come out of retirement? Uh, I don't know. I know it should be some pretty heavy negotiations. You know what? Tom Araya is a big fan of yours. I think we can make it work. All right. Merry Christmas, Santa. Santa. All right. What are you going to do to the people at home who don't subscribe to Jayhawk Films? Oh, the nasty, oh, the naughty list. So we, we do something different now. We've done away with the call. Mm -hmm. We go to uh, the green banana pickles in the stock. It's harsh. I like that. Okay. Santa knows what's good. Thank All you guys right. so much for watching this video. See you next time. Right. Thank you so much. Can I buy a circle pit here? You have circles. Can I buy a circle pit here? Yes, yes, yes. A circle yes. pit. Okay. I like for people mocking, you know? <laughs> Is it for yourself? Oh, uh, it's for my metalhead friend. I need a circle pit. Or like, you have something that says Slayer on it? Yeah. You like Slayer? We don't care. Oh, crap. Well, thank you for your time. Have a great day. You too. So, okay, they didn't have anything Slayer there. They didn't, she didn't know what a circle pit was. So you don't go shopping there.